afternoon, boys and girls in uh, Watchland. Uh, I'm going to go over the altimeter uh, function of the Tissot Touch. And I think this works for all the variations, the two, the one, and all that stuff someone told me. So I'm going to show you how to uh, adjust your uh, altimeter. And it really works. I flew with uh, Butch Gilliam and a mutual friend's uh, uh, helicopter. And... Uh, it stayed spot on the entire time. I was really impressed. So uh, if you're using it to hike and uh, go to the Appalachian Trail, it's perfect for that. Um, to get, to, before you set it, you need to know what your standard is. So you don't set it to zero. Uh, you get on Google and find where you are. If you really want some good accuracy, you can go down to your uh, courthouse and get on the city steps because most uh, cities have their uh, altitude set from their courthouse uh, their city center so uh, you can also uh, if you're near an airport you can go by there park near it uh, get, uh, um, <clears throat> even with the uh, base of the uh, runway and it'll be uh, you can google that too you don't have to get right on the airfield and walk in there and ask them so there's various ways to get the altimeter but you need to set the altimeter to what it is where you are. If you have access to maps, you could call and find it out or, or look on some maps and find out the altitude that way. There's various ways of doing it. But uh, you don't set it to zero to start off unless you're wanting to know just how high you're going. But if you want to know exactly how high you are above sea level, you can do that. Uh, if you just want to know what the difference is and where you were and how high you went, you can, you can set it to zero. So what I'm going to do is uh, I've found uh, Lebanon, Tennessee is where I am right now working on the tornado relief from uh, March of uh, 2020. And uh, I'm sitting here. thought I would go over this portion with you. So without further ado, we'll get to that. All right, so what you want to do, with, as with everything, is we'll start with the center button. So we're going to depress the center button and get it into... Uh, condition where we can change the modes and you hear the beep all right now we're going to go in this corner the two o'clock position is the altimeter so we we'll touch that here click and the both hands go over there and point to what you touch just to verify where you're working so now it says negative six zero seven feet um, I've done a lot of flying and up and down so it gets it'll get confused Let's see, if you wait too long, it'll time out, and it went back to uh, normal time mode. So I'm going to have to push this button again. All right. And it's still back where we were. So uh, it'll, it'll remember where you last operated. If you need to change to another function, you'll just have to touch the other area. So uh, now we're going to change it to, uh, I think, uh, I think our altitude here at Lebanon that said that the air, airport near here or the city center of Lebanon is 468 feet, I think. So we're just going to use that as a as a go-to place. So I'm going to start over because it reset. All right, so it goes back there. So I'm going to use the up button for up and the, the lower button down here for down. So we need to go up. So we're just going to hold it. And it beeped to let me know that it's going. So... You'd think it would go higher, but it's got to go through the negative numbers back to zero. We're going to go to 468 feet. I'm going to let off so it slow down a little bit. Push it individually, make it move up. And it doesn't move up in ones and twos. It uh, will move up in larger increments. I don't know what the parameters are for that. So we're going to, it may not let me go exactly to 468. I just have to go with 462, 466, 19. All right, I'm going to go with 469. So then I'm going to touch the center. I think I am. Well, sometimes I get confused on these. So apparently you don't need to touch the center. I just touch the center button on the end. And that reset it. Usually, if you uh, on a lot of these functions, if you touch the center of the screen, 
it'll like that it went back to the time mode when I touched the center but uh, in this case it uh, didn't do anything which is uh, unusual as far as I can tell so now I'm gonna check my altimeter again hold the center and touch the two o'clock position and it's still at 469 so the uh, barometric pressure regulates what your altimeter is reading so in any given second it can change so I'm gonna move I'm just gonna move it up a few feet up in the air and it went the opposite way so anyway <laughs> this is making a liar out of me but um, essentially you know I only moved it up about uh, 20 inches so it uh, I, I swear when I was flying it really did make a difference in a non-pressurized cockpit so uh, anyway that's how you do it and just review touch the center touch the two o'clock position for altimeter and then this button for moving it up the lower button for moving it down and then uh, when you finish you just have to hit the center button all right uh, have a great day semper fi cheers